The Union Station, like many railway stations in North America and Europe, it was intended to be monumental. I came from Winnipeg after having graduated as, a, uh, as an architect at the University of Manitoba. And uh, so I took the train from Winnipeg to Ottawa. And my um, experience in arriving in Ottawa was through this wonderful building that uh, I never forgot. About five years after I arrived in Ottawa, there was the plan to demolish Union Station. Thankfully, it didn't happen. You know, I was very fortunate as a lover of uh, Union Station to be engaged by uh, Public Works to prepare a heritage conservation plan for uh, the Government Conference Centre prior to its next uh, use. It was used as a train station until 1966, in which the decision at that time was to remove the rail lines out of the heart of the city and move them more to the, the suburbs. Luckily, um, in 1967, it was the centennial year for Canada, and so they decided not to tear it down because they didn't want a big blank hole in downtown. And from that point on, it was basically used as a government conference center until we were lucky enough to be able to discover that the Senate needed a place uh, to house the temporary chamber and we also needed to fix up this building. So the marrying of the two really created a, a wonderful opportunity to invest money into this building and the time it takes to renovate. I don't think people realize the environmental benefits of, of preserving heritage as well. Not having all that waste of demolishing a building going into the landfill. There was still so much original material here to work with. You know, it's not something that's readily found anywhere anymore. The cornice details, the ceiling details, I mean, those things, the, the craftsmanship by hand that went into this building, it's definitely not something you see now. The work that was done in the 1970s didn't really respect the heritage attributes of the building, particularly the interior. A lot of the big spaces were chopped up. There were interventions that were introduced, uh, like translation booths and that, that were kind of carbuncles uh, that spoiled the interior. And they put in a huge mezzanine you know, in the concourse building, and which meant that you couldn't see the, the, uh, the vaulted ceiling. But all that was reversible. I'm uh, thrilled that the architects and uh, for the credit of Public Works that they are working to uh, uh, enhance this building in a way which I think it deserves to be. When we took uh, control over the building, the general waiting area was used as a conference center. We had to repurpose that entire area to add two new committee rooms, but also refinish the heritage uh, plaster and the ceiling. We also had to make sure the building meet the modern building codes. For example, we had to make sure this, uh, the building is accessible. Most importantly, we had to also make sure the building meet the new seismic codes. When the building was built and used as Ottawa's Union Station, it was really um, the epitome of, of a public building. And then after when it, it did become a government conference centre, unfortunately most of the time it was pretty private. Um, now we have the opportunity again with the Senate coming and occupying the building to open it back up for public tours and, and the public to enjoy the Senate chamber and, and to walk through the building and um, really get to see the building and, as well as see what the Senate does. Our Union Station in Ottawa is part of a pretty grand ensemble of buildings and squares that make the heart of the national capital. So it's a part that uh, contributes to the sense of identity of, of our capital and uh, I think it plays its important part there.